Hello, hi, this is Muhammad Tahir. Welcome to my YouTube channel. How are you all? I hope uh, you all are fine. In this video, uh, I will show you the full and correct uh, process if your university name is not in MMUP appro approved list, then how you will put um, your university name in MMUP approved list. Before starting the video, please like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. So be before starting the video, I want to discuss uh, MMUP exam. I want to discuss about MMUP exam that what is MMUP exam. MMUP exam is very important exam now in Qatar for those people who are working as an engineer. For those people who are working as an engineer means who are working as a civil engineer, mechanical engineer, petroleum engineer, um, electrical, electronic, te uh, telecommunication. Uh, those people who are working as an engineer but some of people are facing some problem and cannot give the exam because their university name is not in MMUP approved list for that uh, process there is some steps uh, I wanna tell you I wanna discuss with you that uh, these step if you follow these steps then inshallah you will put your university name and MMUP approved list uh, steps number one is document attestation document attestation there are three documents one at one is uh, school means 10 class uh, certificate and marks uh, sheet and second one is college certificate and marks sheet and third is university degree transcript and bona fide letter these documents should be attested from everywhere from everywhere means from your uh, country uh, Qatar higher education country higher education from uh, embassy from uh, foreign affair after that Qatar uh, your country embassy and Qatar foreign affair these documents should be attested the next step is uh, how to make uh, account so uh, how to make account there is some requirements the requirement is valid Qatar ID means you have to uh, valid Qatar ID for uh, this uh, making account uh, number two is phone number means that phone number should be under your real name which is clearly mentioned in Qatar ID means my name is Muhammad Tair and my uh, in, in Qatar ID my real name is Muhammad Tair and my number is under my name so this is the uh, logging link just open that one link and make your account they will verify they will send you one message on your number to verify just verify it and make it step number three is uh, how to align apply for exam okay so there are some requirements so I want to tell you okay, that uh, uh, this requirement you uh, have to arrange so one is a CID clearance letter for CID clearance letter you need a police clearance letter from your country embassy okay and attest this clearance letter from Qatar uh, foreign affair and take this police clearance letter and go to CID office which is in Salva Road and fill fill form and apply after three days you will receive a message that uh, you are clear a CID clearance letter is ready uh, and come and take just go there and they will take some charge um, like 20 20 Katri real so um, just charge and take this uh, CID uh, clearance letter and scan it scan copy of PDF scan it in this PDF okay don't scan it like uh, JPEJ don't don't do that just scan in PDF second one is experience letter from your current uh, company okay means you are working uh, so that one letter you have to take from your current employer okay third one is passport uh, second one current uh, um, and this uh, uh, this experience letter uh, should be scanned and PDF copy okay passport scan and PDF copy 
four one is Qatar IT scan in JPEJ. Okay, third one is degree. Degree should be scanned in PDF. Okay, with front and back side in one file. Okay. Uh, six one is transcript. Just scan that one and in PDF with front and back side. Okay, photo should be uh, JPEJ and CV should be uh, PDF. Okay. Uh, after that, after that, upload these documents. Okay, and after one month, you will receive a message that your application is rejected due to your university is not in M uh, is not in MMUP list. So uh, that they will put one link in your account in your Hukumti account. Just click on that one link. Uh, you will receive a letter for uh, Qatar higher education take that one later and go to Qatar higher education now step number four is uh, uh, take approval letter from Qatar higher education your school approval letter your college approval letter and university approval letter okay so step number four is, uh, four is uh, approval letter for take approval letter from Qatar higher education just go there Qatar higher education there is two department one is uh, high school means 10th class department and college department and second is university department just go in uh, uh, high school college department they will give you one form they will first they will see they will check your documents that uh, they will specially they will check uh, the science subject which is math and physics and chemistry they will uh, they will see your marks if your mark is uh, more than uh, 50 percent then they will give you approval letter if uh, your marks is not more than 50 percent then they will you uh, give you approval letter but they will clearly mention that you are not uh, equivalency letter that you are non equivalency letter okay <clears throat> after that after that uh, take that one letter approval letter and go to university department okay when you go to university department in this step you need to be very careful because your one mistake um, uh, your one mistake will keep your documents uh, in pending for three to four year so please when you go to there before uh, make sure you have your university correct email address officially email address okay uh, before um, it, it my advice okay before uh, go to university department please contact your university that uh, uh, and inform them that the Qatar higher education will send you one message and please reply reply uh, they will ask something please reply to them within one week because Qatar higher education uh, office people will wait for only one 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 week if within one week if they receive a letter so they will give you uh, up university approval letter if uh, they will mm, if they don't uh, they will not receive any any message from your university then they will keep your documents and uh, maybe forever maybe four year for three year I don't know so um, make sure okay if they uh, yeah then I already discussed it okay go to university department and show your documents they will check your documents they will see your degree transcript bona fide letter and they will see your school college approval letter also so they will give you one link after that they will give you one link and they will tell you they will guide you how to upload your documents just clear open that one link and make account and apply okay and upload documents means uh, you means it's better you apply on Sunday and next after two days means on Wednesday go there because on Wednesday the university department gate will open so go to university every university uh, every Wednesday the university department gate is open so better you apply on uh, Sunday and apply it uh, Sunday and go to uh, university department at Wednesday okay so at Wednesday just uh, go there and tell them 
that you already applied you already uploaded your documents you already sent email to your university and they will respond you so they will um, take some charges like uh, three three uh, three hundred uh, qar three real after that they will give you one uh, one paper just just take that one just keep that one uh, paper with you for uh, for information for inquiry and they will tell you now you wait for some two weeks three weeks we will inform you but don't wait for two three weeks okay it's better if you go once uh, one wednesday next sunday ne next wednesday again go there means after one week ago again go there just follow up just ask him uh, just ask to them that uh, they send you they send message to your university or not they will tell you that we we send message or not just follow up just follow okay just follow up okay because sometimes they forget to send message due to so much application so uh after one one week means next wednesday go there and check yeah they will show you the message oh, they will show you the message uh, correctly that this message we sent to your university and they will tell you your university uh is response uh, is replied or not okay if the university replied within one week so they will t they will give you approval letter if not they will keep in pending so better uh, inform to university please okay so uh, they will give you approval letter after approval letter okay go to baladia office okay again mmup office and show them that one letter they will check they will tell you please apply again same as before you applied so applied again like make police clearance letter cid clearance letter and apply it again so they will after one month after one month they will send you message to submit your original documents just submit and be ready for exam so this process will take uh, three to four months if you follow these steps uh, then inshallah you guys will solve your issues and uh, will allow to give the exam and uh, best of luck uh, guys i hope you like this video please subscribe my youtube channel i hope you uh you you like it and uh, if you have any question regarding unless you know see names and exam for electrical and electronic exam then please feel free to contact me and send me message okay so guys thank you thank you so much for watching this video